Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of New Girl. This is season one, episode 10, titled The Story of the 50. So last time on New Girl was the Christmas episode. A lot of things happened. Paul, I guess, is done for. He's no more. Jess kind of, well, not really just broke it off, but kind of Paul broke it off because he professes love for Jess. Jess did not reciprocate the feelings. So Paul's just like, well, if you don't, I, then I can't do this. And they kind of just went splitsville. On the flip side, we got Schmidt and Cece. They kind of rekindled things. Um, Stephen Amell did cameo. I believe he was like her boss or something. And um, Schmidt, obviously, he went over to see her, gave her a gift. Didn't realize that she and her boss or whatever were kind of you know, swapping tongues like ant eaters, basically right in front of him. Um, so she's involved with him, but then as the episode kind of progressed, she and Jess had a moment in the bathroom at Schmidt's holiday party where um, Jess kind of mentioned the fact that wh whatever Stephen Amell's character's name was, that he was the worst, and did he even get you a gift? And that, you know, kind of brought this whole situation to light that, yeah, he didn't give her a gift. He was kind of like, he didn't really want to have fun with her when, you know, Jess got her the, the, the Christmas gift and it was like the fake mustache or whatever. Like the very first moment that Jess and everybody met up with her and he said, okay, she saw you with it now. Now you can take it off. And even in the later on in the episode, like there was a moment where she tried to playfully kiss him with the mustache on, but he just turned away and walked out. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, dude, she's hot. Who cares if it's just a fake mustache? Like, what? He can't have fun? So I guess I don't know what's happening with him. I don't know if we're going to be seeing him again, but um, I'm glad that that happened because now it kind of pushes Cece back to Schmidt a little bit because she kind of helped Schmidt out and realize through Jess that Schmidt actually does care and has a heart and he's not just all, you know, douchebaggery and all about, yo, I'm about to, you know, slay some chicks, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff that happened. Um, Nick is always, like, kind of the, like at the center of everything, causing all the cringe at this, at the, at this point. Because in the last time he misread Paul's, he's like, did you talk to Jess? And they were talking about the airport thing. But... Nick thought they were talking about the whole Justin didn't love him. So it was just a cringy mess. I don't know what this episode is going to be about. The story of the 50. Once again, I don't look at the Netflix uh, slug line, whatever, the description. So I like to be surprised. So the story of the 50, I don't know. Is it the 50th girl Schmidt's banged? I don't know. So the story of the 50, who knows? We're going to hop in, have a good time. But before we do, I want to remind you guys, Patreon, full-length, uncut, unedited reactions. If you want to avoid the YouTube highlights, watch this episode with me in its entirety. That option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time. We'll just discuss it afterwards. All right, guys. Here we go. $50 in the douchebag job? Oh, uh, 50, 50 bucks. I feel like it should actually be more in the 100, 200 range, so that's a discount. Think about what you did. I lost it. I lost the party bus. Apparently, oh. my business isn't as important as Frankie Munoz's is. Malcolm in the middle? The party's off. You should torch them on Yelp. You could just get another bus. In two days? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, Winston. But why don't I just go down to the party bus store? I'm sure there's like an app for that now. Just have the party at a bar. Nick, this is it. This is my 29th birthday party. This is the year. <laughs> yeah. Is he crying a little? Oh my God. Hey, I just came to make sure you're okay. I'm not okay, Jess. I had to cancel my birthday party. It's social suicide. And then what am I gonna tell Benjamin? We're bro enemies. Bro enemies? Wasn't for Benjamin, I, I never would have become a Los Angeles baller. Ah. Uh, changed everything about myself, Jess. What about the hundred million dollars? Wasn't enough. Mm. So just never be cool enough, Jess. Okay. We are gonna throw Schmidt a birthday party. No. Yes. Jess, Schmidt's world is different than ours. Huh? Schmidt has a friend who legally changed his middle name to doing it. Yeah, doing it. Just one word. 
doing it. Actually, I'm sorry, I do have to go. I apologize. Where are you mumble, going? Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Classic fifth date. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna apologize for it. I got nothing to apologize for. I owe you nothing. Hey, is that? God, what is her name? I remember on Smallville. I'm really glad that you're here with me. Yeah, I'm happy you let me be here with no, you. No, I really am. I went to law school. I quit. Quit law school? Yeah. Why? Because I realized I hated lawyers. And for some reason, I find you ridiculously attractive for saying that. Nice. My ass, then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were doing a flirty back and forth. I'm actually just kidding. I really do want to do that. Oh shit, let's go. Make that happen. Great. Hi, yes, I'd like What's to about to happen a last-minute stripper. Oh, um, preferably of Asian heritage. Very bendy. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll hold. Now we're Jeff. talking oh, my language. Hi. Hi. Just say hi. Nice Open to meet up. you guys. We're doing a surprise party for Schmidt. Who's that? Oh, I didn't tell you about Schmidt? No. <laughs> huh, too bad. You know what? You should come. It's on Saturday. Yes. Is it like a presence thing or more like a... Donations to charity situation. Yeah, well, definitely not that. Just bring yourself. Do you want to head to my room for a little bit? Give you the rest of the tour around the place? Great, yeah. In my room. Hey, Winston, why'd you do that? Are you hiding her from us? Is Schmick gonna bang her? What's going on here? You're the best. <laughs> yes, I just hired my first stripper. Anything else I should get? Ooh, naughty, naughty. Do you like jazz cigarettes? What? Daniel? Patty told me that. Patty told you to break in my office to look for drugs. JK kidding. JK kidding. You can do whatever you want. Huh? So what are you looking for? You have to tell me I'm your boss. Oh, wow. I'm free Friday. But I can also make Saturday or Sunday work. You have no life. Got it. Jess, what are you doing? I'm making an egg yellow omelet. The, the shallots Damn, are Jess look good. A school bus? I'm weak. I mean, it's technically a bus. There's a keg, at least. That's tight. This is cool. I, I love this. God, what is her name? I can't remember. Oh, look at this big old pile of birthday Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that, Bean John Me? Why don't you sing us your birthday song? Schmidt, hey, come on. We built this Schmidt. We built this Schmidt on Nazi Road. Don't worry, Jess. I, did, I, I said that too. Stripper pole weight bearing. Looks like some pretty shoddy worksmanship. Who the fuck are you? Can I help you? Martin Fuller, grindpalace.com. Is he the stripper? We have a little miscommunicado. Did you make the call? Because if they hear a woman's voice, then they send me. Hey, need to clear this aisle. I gotta have a perimeter for it's sweet. Dirty. No, please, 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 you can't do this. No. birthday boy. I am the birthday boy. You are gonna love it. I don't judge, Sir. pal. I just wanna have fun. Bro, where's Miss Fat Booty? <laughs> So if I get hired to take my clothes off, I'm gonna get Bro, naked. get the fuck so out of my here. Back down. What is this? Hey. Jess, you're gonna have to strip. Oh. Hey, Mr. Fuller. What the fuck? Mr. Fuller. No. Stop this. Oh, Come Jess, on, Jess, stop. I'm gonna pay you $50 to never show us your penis. So no stripper? That sucks. And I brought checks. Tanya has half a pot cookie, so maybe she'll share if you're lucky. Half a pot cookie. $50. I've never put $50 in that douchebag jar. Well, that's really impressive, Schmidt, considering. Someone's personalized condoms just came in the mail. Hey, oh my god. Jar. Winston, did you know that NWA didn't stand for Never Walk Alone? Jar. Hey, Nick. No! Jar, Schmidt, jar! For what? It was my birthday. I, I, I was very drunk. What happened? I think we need to take shots. Hell oh yeah. <laughs> What's bro juice? I have no idea. Really? Nick Miller invented bro juice on Schmidt's 22nd birthday. You remember that? Double bro juice. Bro juice. Bro juice. Bro juice. Bro juice. Bro juice. This is not going to be attractive. Happy birthday, bud. I love you. Oh, they don't have an x ray feature here? It's like, I got to know. What is her name? <laughs> Yeah. Hitting that, Jess? Yeah. No. Can I, I hit that? I'll help myself. Go ahead. To sex. Benjamin, you can't. Not, not with Jess. Oh, Please well, I can. I can, and I will. Go ahead. Let's see. Good evening, night owls. It's about to get the bone again here. That's right. We're going to. <laughs> that weed cookie did her in. What do you pull out a year of the game? Ever since I started doing full frontal, I pulled down seven k a year, easy. 
7k a year? Theoretically, if I were to get into the game, you know, what, what, what are you looking for in, in the gator department? You know what I mean? Or is it just moving so fast that it doesn't really matter? When you thrust, what's your range of motion side to side? Go left, fight right. What about your testicles? Are they more or less symmetrical? <laughs> I'm a wolf hawk. What are you? Luxury. A what? Dessert. I'm a warrior poet, man. That's it. I got a number for you to call. You ever hook up with the ladies? It's, it's ladies like one out of ten times at most. I did. I invented bro juice. Okay, and now you want, you're done. I what? get it. When we get off the bus, oh my God, he's drunk. Over. I blew it. Everybody's got embarrassing stuff. I mean, I have stuff that you don't know about. Oh, uh, man. You want to hear something else? Okay. I don't believe dinosaurs existed. I've seen this science. I don't believe it. Ditch that zero and get with the hero. The hero's my penis. That works? Uh, no. Just leave her alone, man. Your party slugs, bro. The fuck it out. All right, you know what? Schmidt, this party is the worst. Come on, man, this party is badass. Pull over and kick his ass out. You don't like the bus? Then get off it, pal. Yeah. It's okay, birthday, bro. You guys suck. Hi, why don't you just say that one more time? Oh, you guys suck? Oh. Oh. Damn, I like her. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> fuck. What happened? Is everyone okay? Yes. Who are you? Power Ranger, apparently. And what was like all this stuff? Too? Martial arts. Cobra Kai? Is this Tori grown up? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. Now we're getting somewhere. I hate that I'm so turned down by your craziness, but Go I Go with am. it. You guys sure you're cool waiting for the tow truck? Yeah, it's fine. I'll see you back at the lock. Bye, guys. Happy birthday. So it's my birthday. Right now. Right now. Happy birthday. Don't do anything weird, Schmidt. Wait, did you have fun tonight? Because I know it was a little bit flawed. That was awesome. I mean, I would have preferred a stripper, but it was seemed fun times. I mean, just throws in a lot of effort. It's awesome. Don't do anything weird. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> no, no, I could not. Oh my god. <sighs> You had a piece of fuzz that I was trying. It was a little piece of fuzz. It was right That's there. That's what this is all about? Come on, no excuses, Schmidt. He tried to kiss her. Is Julia gonna be around now? That's cool, I like her. Happy birthday. 29? This is cool. Jar. Oh, Lizzie Kaplan. That's her name. Nick, I came up with the best name for an uncircumcised penis. Bishop in a turtleneck. Yeah, Jar. Damn it! I can't find my driving moccasins anywhere. Jar. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was New Girl Season 1, Episode 10, titled The Story of the 50. That was a good episode. I really like that. Also like the inclusion of Lizzie Kaplan's character, Julia. I actually really do like Lizzie Kaplan a lot. I mentioned during the reaction that I remember her from Smallville, back in the day. And she looks basically the same, only just like slightly older. I mean, obviously time does that, but I'm just saying, for the most part, like she has like a recognizable face. I'm just like, what is her name? Because I don't know if I've ever seen her in anything else other than Smallville. I'm sure she's done other things. But I'm just saying for me personally, I remember her from Smallville. Because um, I've seen Smallville a bunch of times. And I remember her being in the earlier seasons, you know, doing the whole, I'm going to get you Lana and stuff like that. So seeing her here, and it looks like she's actually going to be sticking around as, as um, Nick's girl that's that's awesome she's a lawyer she's cool she's anger management so she's gonna have like a little tick to her so she has like a character already and i like that i like how she's already part of the group and even though we didn't see any cc here i kind of like how julia kind of slides in there and she feels like a proper not necessarily a replacement but a proper kind of um stand-in for cc at least for the time being i'm a little bummed we didn't get to see cc but the story worked without it and you know, I, I like how we continue to kind of focus more on Schmidt with the past couple of episodes. I think the writers kind of realize that Schmidt is like a fan favorite. And he's he's obviously the, the goofy one that we can kind of like hang a bunch of story beats on top of and see how how the how characters interact and react to each other and spin out and see how the story kind of unfolds. So this was a good episode. I really like the flashbacks, the the Jess putting uh, a lot of effort and time into the party bus, despite, you know, his birthday almost coming to a kind of bitter end before it even got started, but just decided, no, we should do this. Tricked out a school bus, 
tried to get a stripper, but that didn't work out. But that's the thought that counts. I mean, Ben, he's a dick. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 he's not even... I, I don't want to say he's like... He's not even entertaining. He's not even an entertaining dick in this show. It's just... He's just an asshole. You know? It's not even like Schmidt where... Yeah, he can be like a douche and be like a womanizer or whatever. But ultimately, he still cares about his friends. And the fact that he had to stand up for Jess when she was kind of being preyed on by, by Ben. By, you know, his game or lack thereof you know it showed a lot about schmidt you know he protects his friends he loves jess and even though it kind of led up to that awkward moment at the end there where he almost kissed her i mean i kind of would have accepted that i kind of like that but for the for the most part i like them being friends and kind of doing their own separate things and just kind of having that connection which is really nice at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so um it looks like we're still going to keep Nick and Jess apart for the time being, which is fine because we're still in season one. I believe this show is multiple seasons long. I believe the end game is going to be Nick and Jess. I don't know why. I just feel like that is the end game. But for now, they're kind of doing their own things, which is cool. And I'm glad that Jess isn't, you know, like sad or kind of moping over the whole Paul thing, which is cool. Um, I, I definitely don't want to see a depressed Jess. Because she's like really entertaining as her bubbly self. So I kind of want to continue seeing that as part of the highlight of the show. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened in this episode. I feel like they need to do more with Winston. Like he's cool as like a side character. Like when he made that comment where, oh, I'm going to get you. When he like overheard Nick talk about him. I was like, oh shit, we're going to have like a little side thing where, you know, maybe uh, Winston tries to prank Nick. Or maybe that's going to be like a thread that they kind of you know, bring over into the, a future episode. Who knows? But I feel like they, they need to do a little bit more with Winston. Um, definitely need to bring Cece back into the fold a lot more. But I, I like what we're doing. I like where the characters are at this point in time. And I can't really say anything bad about the show, to be honest. Uh, I, like, I like the characters. I mean, some episodes are not as strong as the others. Like, Bells wasn't that great. But for the most part, the show is solid. Characters are solid. And for a situational co comedy like this... I can pretty much watch them kind of get into any sort of shenanigans and be entertained for 20s or some odd minutes. You know what I'm saying? So good episode. I think I'm just getting it there. And yeah, I can't wait to see what the next episode has in store. So yeah, just getting it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, join my reaction. If you guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety, that option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or put in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of New Girl Season 1, Episode 11. Until then, adios, guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. And I brought Travis. Ooh.